All right, guys, today we got a 2019 K&M Renegade XXC1000 in the garage. So the owner of this thing actually drove four hours one way to bring this thing to me. He lives in uh, Mass, right on the Connecticut border. So that's a little ways. Let's get to it. So he just purchased this machine this past year. Only took it for one ride. There was supposed to be no issues with it. It was supposed to be turnkey, good to go. He paid good money for it. It's not brand new. It's 2019. But I don't think it has a whole lot of miles on it. Uh, but it, it's got a tuner. This is the XXC. Got some nice looking wheels, M12 wheels, Wanda's, big horn look likes. Got a Yoshimira exhaust pipe on it. And of course it's got the XMR snorkel kit because this is XXC, not supposed to have that. Pretty good looking machine in my opinion. Me personally, I don't do a whole lot of mud riding, so this probably wouldn't do much good for me. But yeah, anyways, he just bought this machine. He rode it around his house a little bit. It seemed to go good. Him and his buddies drove all the way down to West Virginia to go riding. Took it out on the trails, 30, 40 miles in. It shut off, wouldn't restart. He had to get towed back home. That was the end of his trip, so that kind of sucked. And then he got it home, found an issue with the spark plug, ended up replacing the spark plug wire. He said after that, it fired up, and then uh, it re went good for another 20, 30 miles, and it died again. And then after that, it wouldn't restart at all. Got it back home. Every now and then it would fire up. Sometimes it would, sometimes it wouldn't. He brought it to me. When he got here, he had it on the back of his trailer and it fired up. I unloaded it, drove it ahead a little bit, let it idle for probably 30 seconds after all that and it just died and it wouldn't restart again. Hasn't since. I tried starting it the next day outside, wouldn't start. No check engine lights, nothing. Let me show you what it's doing now. And turn this on. The only message on here is maintenance required. Try to start it nothing doesn't even try and he said it's been doing that you gotta let that thing sit for a long time it's probably been sitting for 30 minutes or so since he's left and it still won't even try but to i do believe the battery was low so now that we got a fully charged battery we can give her a whirl Let's see what she's doing here kill switch on let's go ahead and check we got no messages other than uh maintenance required but that's that's not an issue Normal key. Sport mode. All right. So this has got 714 miles on it. She fired up. And she died. But she did fire up. So th that was the reason why it wouldn't fire up before is the weak battery. But now it's just uh, shutting off. that's what she's doing let's hook the buds up to it check it out i'm kind of thinking it might be fuel related now um before when it wouldn't fire up at all i was thinking possibly electronic but uh we'll see go ahead and pull the seat off so our diagnostic port should be right here but must be it got tossed under there we'll have to pull this side panel off And there it is. Plug that in. As you can see, I got a few projects in the shop right now. But then again, one less than yesterday. I had a Sportsman 800 and I just got done. This takes a minute to load up, as you can see. While we're letting that load up, might as well check the fluids. I haven't done that yet. I haven't really messed with this at all yet. So. It's a little on the low side. Should be up here between these two marks. Now, I'm not sure if he wants a service done on this or not, so I'm just going to top it off for now, and then I'll ask him later. Okay, we we'll go over to the faults here. We definitely have a few different things. They've all occurred. Throttle position and set. A lot of different stuff going on here. Go ahead and clear all those out. Ooh, that looks filthy on the outside. Check inside. Pretty filthy. A little nasty in there. 
Gonna need a new pre filter. Probably just throw a new, whole new air filter on there. It doesn't look clogged up enough to keep this thing from running, so I don't think that is our specific issue here. Those are coolant looking. Uh, doing all right, a little low, not bad. I'm told this thing has a tuner, I'm trying to find it. <laughs> Go ahead and try to refire her up. Fired up pretty smooth there. Not dying right away. Let's get this outside and see how she runs. right there she seems to be running perfect i have to bring it back in the shop and just go over everything and make sure it's good like i said he took it 30 40 miles and it was running fine then it just died so probably better check everything over before i bring it for a decent ride as you can see we got some coating mismatch make security coating so i did forget to mention that the owner bought this he thought it only had 700 miles on it like it says on there. However, the original owner got a hold of him and told him that that speedometer was wrong. This thing had over a thousand miles when the original owner sold it and then he sold it to another guy and then he sold it to, to the current owner. So it's definitely got over 700 miles. That's probably why it's mismatching there. All right, so I went ahead and paired everything, rescanned it again, and hopefully we're good to go. All right, back up, go to health. We're looking good there. Now we're looking good here. So I'm also gonna check the fuel pump, check the fuel pressure right here. We're gonna see how many PSI we get. Now this should be around 50 PSI. So let's go ahead and turn her on, hit the button. Yep, 50. Well, that looks very good right there. If it was on the low side of 40s, I'd be a little worried, but it's pretty much 50 PSI. So we're good to go there. So I talked to the owner about this, explained what was going on. I think it was a pairing issue that was causing this thing to run when it wanted. I told him I checked the fuel pressure. Fuel pressure was all set. He said, hey, sometimes this thing would run for 30 minutes on me and then it would die. So he said, if you have time, he said, drive this thing for at least 30 minutes. When I test this thing out, I know somebody's going to say, I can't believe you treat your customer's machine that way. This guy specifically said, make sure you open up that throttle. Let's put her back together and try her out. We will route this back where it should be, through here, just like that.
they will certainly be testing out those big horn tires. Let's give her a whirl. check out the snowmobile trail, see if they run a groomer through it yet. I haven't paid attention. Doesn't look like it yet. Still crossing my fingers, they'll open up for the 15th. right there so she did good started this thing up at three and here it is four o'clock right now this thing goes amazing through the snow i'll go ahead and hook her up one more time to see if she's got any problems and as you can see here i did over 10 miles it was 724 before and i did over an hour about an hour and 10 minutes maybe of driving 
So I did ask the owner if he wanted me to do a service on this thing while it's still here. Uh, he said he had already purchased the oil and stuff, so he's going to do it himself. I'm going to go ahead and reset that message for him, though. Right now, every time you turn it on, it, it says maintenance required on it. So we'll just have to come down here. Maintenance counter. Last service maintenance. And we'll reset it. Everything's still looking good here. We'll go to our faults. Make sure we have nothing. Doesn't look like it. We'll refresh. Nothing. Perfect. Looks like she's ready to go back to the owner.